Shalom, Rabbi Philip Sharp here, uh, wishing you a good new year, uh, if you're celebrating it. Um, it's not the Hebrew one, but if you're celebrating it, I say have a good one. And I hope to see you in the middle of January, January the 22nd and January the 23rd, uh, 2016, is uh, a conference time. That's a Friday and a Shabbat day. And I'm going to be teaching on covenant. Now, covenant is a thing that people just don't really seem to understand these days. It goes much deeper than a religious handshake or uh, the fact that we all keep a certain day or a certain feast or a certain law together. Covenant is a very deep issue. And covenant is really the very heart of the Bible, of the Torah. And it's, uh, that's why the, the Taurus tells us there is great power in agreement, because agreement is covenant. And the, the God, the Elohim, Yahuwah, the author of and the person the Bible speaks about, is a covenant God. He's a covenant Elohim. And as a covenant God, he... When you make covenant, it's for a purpose, that you might be at one with that person. And that's the intention, the whole intention, right the way from Genesis through to the prophet Malachi and the whole of the so-called new covenant from uh, Matthew right the way through to Revelation. The whole story is about covenant. The whole story is about people coming back into true covenant with the God of the Bible. And we often treat Bible as a bit of a game. And sometimes we're deceived. We don't even realize we are. We think that we are saved. We think that we are okay. But actually, it, we only know that we are when we look in the mirror. We need to look in the mirror and say, well, what do I look like today? If I think I look all right, but I haven't looked in the mirror, well, we need to check. And that's really what we're going to do at this conference, we're going to check to see if we are truly in covenant relationship with Yahuwah and with each other. And we're going to find out from that covenant if, in fact, we want to be in covenant with that God and with each other. Because the book of Acts says that they lacked nothing, but it also say, says they gave away everything and placed it at the feet of the apostles. And so there's a lot of giving involved, a lot of trust involved, a lot of commitment involved, a lot of uh, giving over of yourself. And as the scripture says, greater love has no man than this. Then he laid down his life for his friends. But can you trust those you lay it down to? These are just some of the things that we're going to be talking and discussing in this conference on the 22nd, 23rd of January 2016 in South Carolina, USA. I'll be flying in from Greece, especially for this conference, in the hope that I will be able to find somebody that I can make true and genuine covenant with. This is one of the goals of the conference. Now we know in the scriptures that Yahuwah promises that he will restore the 12 tribes of Israel. And restoring the 12 tribes of Israel requires covenant. The people covenant to Yahuwah and to each other. And that means there cannot be barriers like race barriers. Ashkenazim and Sfadim, black, white, yellow, red. There cannot be race barriers. When Yahuwah restores the 12 tribes of Israel, they must be in covenant with each other. And this was the criteria of the 12 tribes of Israel when they went 40 years in the desert. It was to cultivate hearts that would keep true covenant with Yahuwah and with each other. And only when they had achieved that did Yahuwah cause them to take the land and come into their inheritance, of which they never came into the full inheritance. But it's promised they will. And therefore, we need to look at that conference because we sorry, we need to look at that 
example of the Bamidbar, of the desert, where the children of Israel struggle for 40 years because the whole scenario is going to be almost duplicated, at least in pattern, when in Ezekiel 20 it says that Yahuwah will bring Israel into the Bamidbar, the desert of the nations, and they will pass under his rod. And there he will make covenant with them and he will remove rebels and deceivers and false people from the midst of the nation of Israel and then they will be exalted to go into the land of Israel. These are a covenant people. And that's why we have to begin to lose our lives in ways that we've never done before. In the book of Revelation it says, and they love not their lives unto death. This is the caliber of people that Yahuwah is looking for. The lukewarm he will spew out of his mouth. Are you one of those people? That's the question. If you are, or you feel you are, you believe you are, and you want that to be proven to be true, then come to this conference. To come to this conference, for me, I believe, is a calling. Is Yahuwah calling you into deeper covenant? Are you willing to pay the price? What are the steps toward paying that price? Can you risk it? Do you have the faith? There are so many factors involved in pursuing true covenant relationships. There are covenant relationships between man and wife. We see that failing everywhere. There are covenant relationships between brothers, between brothers and sisters, between fathers and mothers, between fathers and sons and fathers and sisters and fathers and, and daughters and mothers and sons and mothers and daughters all of these need to be defined and understood so that true covenant can be kept between all parties as it's written that we should meditate upon the torah of yahuwah day and night that it should be the meditation of our heart that by keeping it and observing it that no man would be able to stand before us and when we read the writings of the prophets we see very clearly that this again is the caliber of people that Yahuwah will raise up in the end days to do his biddings, to do his will. He will not be messing around anymore. The lukewarm he will spew out of his mouth. Judgment begins with the house of Yahuwah and he will judge his house and bring it to order. He will build his house and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. But it's only those who understand covenant and keep covenant even to their own hurt, that they swear unto their own hurt. These are the kind of people that Yahuwah is looking to bring his people from north, south, east, and west into the Ban Midbar of the nations, where he will enter into judgment and where he will deliver his people back to Eretz Yisrael. The temple will be rebuilt. The revealing of the Messiah, Yeshua, will be done to all of Israel in that day. And then it says in Zechariah that Judah will fill its bow with Ephraim and they will be amongst the nations and there will be a tremendous revival. Now, what we see in the book of Acts is a tremendous revival. Why? Because they kept covenant. Come to the conference. Love to see you there. There's a lot more to say. Shalom.